Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, I will show you how you can query your data from Firestore. So I added two edit texts here to our app from the last videos. And now when I press on retrieve data, then only those persons are queried who have an age between 40 and 70. And the age is also sorted in ascending order. So it starts with the smallest age and gets bigger and bigger. And as usual, you can get the layout file, the XML code for that from this video's description. There you can find my GitHub repository, so you can just copy and paste it. After that, we can jump into Android Studio. And as you can see, I removed the call to our subscribe to real-time updates function from the last video. And instead, I uncommented the on-click listener for our button retrieve data. So we can press on that button and then we get the data so we don't get it with real-time updates. However, you can also do this very easily with real-time updates. I will also show you this in this video. So let's scroll down to our function retrieve persons. And up here, I first want to get the values of our two edit text fields. So the first will be from age. And I, I set it to et from dot text dot to string dot to int. Then I duplicate that line with control D and this one will be 2h, which is et2, and the rest is fine. So how are we going to query our data now? So as you can see in this line, we get our query snapshot, and currently this returns the whole collection of our persons, so every single person saved in our database. But we only want those persons whose age is between our from age and our to age here. And to accomplish that, we can put queries before we use that get call here. So if we remove that here and start a new line, then you can see if we type rare, then you get all the available queries for Firestore. And now we can filter out those persons, for example, rare greater than, and now we have to provide the field as a first parameter and then the value as a second parameter. So the field will be age here, and the value is our from age. So we only want to get those ages that are greater than our from age. And if you watched my first video of this series where I explained why I don't like real-time database, the reason for that is, or one reason of that is, that in Firestore you can chain several queries together. So that is currently one query that we get all persons whose age is greater than that from age. But now we can put another rare condition here, so where less than. So by doing that, we can get all the per other, all the persons whose age is between the from age and the to age. So if we now have all the persons who have an age greater than that from age, and after that we filter out all persons who have an age less than our to age, then we have exactly the query we want to have here. So where the age is less than our to age, and as I showed you in the example, we also want to order this by the age. So we can simply write order by and pass our age. And after we have made all these queries here, we can do exactly the same as we did before. So just call dot get afterwards and dot await. So if that confused you, a quick little recap here. We have our query snapshot that contains all persons in our query. Initially, that is our whole person collection, but we only want those persons whose age, so the field is age, is greater than the from age. And out of that query, we only want those persons whose age is less than the to age. And we want to order the result by their age. And when we then call get, then the actual request is made to Firestore and we get the result. And if we only want those persons with a specific name, for example, then we can just put another query here in where we say we are equal to first name and for example, Peter. So that will only give us, us those persons whose name is Peter and the age is between from age and to age. And it will be sorted by the age. But for this tutorial, I will remove this line again because we don't have and edit text field for the name. However, the very cool thing about Firestore is 
that you can also use these queries in combination with the snapshot listener I showed you in the last video. So you can actually get real-time updates only from a particular query. So as you can see in our subscribe to real-time updates function, we use our person collection reference to add a snapshot listener to it. And here we can just do exactly the same. We can just append a query between here. So just where equal to the first name to Peter, for example. So this will only give us real-time updates for all persons whose name is Peter. But I will also remove this line because that is also not part of this tutorial. I just wanted to show you that you can also apply those queries to a snapshot listener. That is actually everything we need to do to make our query work if we now run our app and try out if everything is working. And we enter a range here. So I will enter 15 to 60, for example, and click on retrieve data. Then you can see it only retrieves us those persons whose age is between 15 and 60, 22, 25, 50, and 56. So that is it for this video. I hope this helped you to understand Firestock queries. If so, please let me know in the comments. And also if there are any questions, then don't mind asking these below so I can answer them. Have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye bye.